I'm your host, Sean McKenzie, and thank you for joining me once again, my channel on data analytics and data transformation. This week, we're going to split one field into two fields, or more if you want, and we're going to do it with, you guessed it, the split function. We're going back to our Microsoft Access project called Northwind Analytics that we worked on in previous videos. Let's get to it. Okay, so this is the Northwind Analytics database that we created some weeks ago and we did a couple videos using it and I thought it would be a good place for us to start and do a little bit more work on our uh, data analytics and transformation. First, we're gonna take a look at our products table. As you can see, there's a field here in the table that has a uh, product model on one side and a number on the other and we're gonna pretend that uh, that's what those things are and that we need those fields to be separated. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the create ribbon and we'll create a new query in query design. We can close the pop-up when it comes up and just drag our product table onto our query. And you can see all the fields there and uh, we'll grab say the product code, the name, and uh, maybe the category um, is something that we need for our fictional example. And then we want the product code separated into the model and the product number. So in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and create a, a uh, module so that we can create a VBA function. So we'll go ahead and we'll start our function. Function is a uh, routine that returns a value. And so we're going to uh, create a function called get model or number and we'll pass the product code to it as you can see as a string and we'll also pass uh, the model or number which is we're going to say whether we want the model or the number. And as you can Remember, the model was on the left-hand side of the dash and the number was right-hand side of the dash. And so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll create some variables. The first variable that we'll create is uh, a variant. So we won't put a data or a variable type on it um, and that will automatically go to a variant type. And so what that's going to do is that's going to turn into an array when we use our split function. So we'll say that our uh, code, AR code variable, we're going to say that it is uh, the split of the product code and using the delimiter, which is our dash. And by simply doing that, that's going to throw uh, those two into an array. And we're going to look at whether we ask for the model or the product number. And so we'll say we'll use a select case statement saying in the case that we ask for model, then return um, the left hand side of our of the product code. So in this case, we'll ask for the the zero uh, element of the array, which is the first one. And in the case that we asked for the number, we'll return the second one, which is one. And this is a zero-based uh, numeric system. And if there's uh, anything else that was asked for, um, it doesn't really apply, so we'll say NA on our uh, case, select case statement. And so from there, we can say that our, our get model or number function is equal to the return string that we created in the beginning. And we'll go ahead and save our module and do a debug compile, which will tell us if there's a screw up in the code anywhere and in, that the code will not run. And then we can move on to the next step. Okay, I'll go ahead and copy our get model or number uh, from the function so that I can use it later. And then I'll create the product code field, um, which I actually meant to say product model there to call it, but uh, I think you get the idea and we'll say product code equals get model or number and we'll put in 
the product code field as an argument and we'll say that we want the model from it for that field. And we can say OK on that one. And we'll go to the next field where we want the product number from the right side of the field. And we'll say a product number uh, colon and then we'll put in the get model or number and again we'll pass our product code field to it as an argument and we'll say that we want the number and then we'll say OK. And then from there uh, we have our two fields from one field and we can test it out by going to the home tab and clicking on the view and in the uh, view you can see that our product code and our product number have been separated into their own fields and from there you could go ahead and uh, do a make table or export it or whatever you wanted and that's how you split a field into two. Thanks for joining me once again. I hope you enjoyed it today and please hit the like button if you did and also hit the subscribe button and click the bell when you see the bell and if you have any uh, comments or questions about what you saw today please put them in the comments below. I'll catch you next time.